He is known for his exploration of Central Africa and his search for missionary and explorer David Livingstone. He is recognized for his important contributions to Western knowledge of the geography of Central Africa and his resolute opposition to the slave trade in East Africa. His name is Sir Henry Morton Stanley. In the annals of exploration, few names stand as tall as Sir Henry Morton Stanley. Born in 1851 in Wales, Stanley would become one of the most renowned explorers of his time. His expeditions through the heart of Africa would leave an indelible mark on the world and shape the course of history. Stanley's journey into the unknown began in 1871 when he set out to find the missing missionary and explorer, David Livingstone. Venturing into the treacherous Congo Basin region, Stanley navigated through dense jungles, crossed vast rivers, and faced countless challenges. It was on November 10, 1871, that Stanley finally found Livingstone near Lake Tanganyika, famously uttering the words, Dr. Livingstone, I presume. This encounter with Livingstone propelled Stanley into the realm of exploration and discovery. Determined to unravel the mysteries of Africa, he embarked on a series of groundbreaking expeditions. In 1874, he set out to explore the vast expanse of Lake Victoria, discovering the mighty Ripon Falls and mapping the course of the Nile River. His journey continued along the Lulaba River, where he uncovered the truth behind the fabled Mountains of the Moon and revealed that the river was, in fact, the Upper Congo. Stanley's thirst for knowledge and adventure led him to further explore the African continent. He ventured to Lake Albert, charting its shores and documenting its rich biodiversity. In 1876, he arrived at the trading post of Nyangwe, where he witnessed the horrors of the African slave trade. Determined to put an end to this inhumane practice, Stanley made it his mission to expose the atrocities and advocate for the abolition of slavery. In the years that followed, Stanley's expeditions took him to the far corners of Africa. He established trading posts, forged alliances with local tribes, and mapped unexplored territories. From Boma to Camara, Brazzaville to Stanley Falls, his journeys paved the way for the colonization of the Congo Basin region and the establishment of European presence in Africa. Despite the controversies surrounding his methods and his association with King Leopold II of Belgium, Stanley's contributions to Western knowledge of Central Africa cannot be denied. His expeditions shed light on the geography, cultures, and resources of the African continent, forever changing the way the world perceived Africa. Stanley's legacy continues to inspire and ignite the flames of exploration and curiosity. His resolute opposition to the slave trade and his determination to uncover the mysteries of Africa have left an enduring impact on the world. Today, we remember Sir Henry Morton Stanley as a visionary explorer whose expeditions have shaped our understanding of Africa and its people. As a young boy named John Rowlands, Henry Stanley faced a challenging and uncertain upbringing in Denby, Wales. Abandoned by his mother, Elizabeth Perry, and with his father's identity unknown, he was raised by his grandfather, Moses Perry. However, when his grandfather passed away, John was left in the care of various relatives and eventually ended up in the Street Azaf Union Workhouse for the poor. The harsh conditions and lack of supervision subjected him to frequent abuse from older boys, exacerbating the challenges he faced. There are allegations that the headmaster of the workhouse sexually assaulted him. At the age of 10, John's mother and half-siblings briefly stayed at the workhouse, but he did not recognize them until the headmaster revealed their identities. This difficult and tumultuous early life would shape the resilience and determination that would define Henry Stanley's future adventures in the Congo Basin region. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.